Ida Ice Learning Center Heat Load Calculation To carry out a simulation, click on the Simulation tab. It is possible to carry out heating load, cooling load, energy and custom simulations. And it is also possible to simulate a model that has been built on the advanced level. For every heating load calculation, the user has to specify several simulation parameters. First of all, the user has to specify whether the fans are running according to the schedule or are turned off. Secondly, the user specifies which proportion of internal heat gains should be considered during the calculation. As a default, the internal heat gains are completely omitted. For the definition of weather data, the user has two options, either to use synthetic weather data or to use a certain period from the climate file. For this case, we are using synthetic weather data. We are assuming no solar radiation and the simulation period to 16th of January. We are also specifying a fixed ambient temperature of minus 26 degrees Celsius. After specifying all the input data, we are now initiating the simulation. After the simulation has finished, a tabular overview of the simulation results are shown. In this column, we can see the overall heating load for each zone, which has been mapped by the air handling unit and the room unit. And in this column, we can see the heat that has been provided by the room unit. It is also possible to view the simulation results in the 3D model. To do so, click on the icon in the column header. Here we see the 3D model, and by clicking on the Z plus button, we remove the top of the zones, and we can see the visualization of the performance predictions. In this case, the heating power of the room units, Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. You will find more videos if you go to help and process guides. There is a whole series of videos stored there. Under help, you will also find our getting started guide as a PDF document. Also, never hesitate to contact support or write to our forum for further questions or support. And remember to check out our website. Under events, there you can find upcoming courses. We frequently host beginners and advanced courses on various topics.